It is said that over 300 trips were made before heaps of maram were illegally dumped at this site since Monday for the preparation of the construction of warehouses. The wetland encroachers reportedly presented a land title showing ownership of the land in question and the environmental impact assessment certificate that allows them to construct here. State Minister for Water, Betty Bigombe, does not agree with this. We're using our um, environmental police force to evict them. Uh, we're writing a letter to suspend all the actions. We are also going to verify whether these documents are authentic. The environmental police that started work in December last year are also meeting challenges with people like these who claim they have been permitted to do such work by government bodies. Like land commission has issued land titles on a wetland. NEMA has issued certificates on the wetland. And now the wetlands department is saying that is wrong. Where certificates have been issued in a wetland, in a disputed place, we got caught and all those titles and certificates be cancelled so that we can enforce. Otherwise, short of that, we are held, our hands are tied because we don't want to be in conflict with the law. We are also checking with the uh, Uganda Land Commission, the Ministry of Lands, we have to bring them on board and KCC so that um, we make sure that they do not issue land titles on wetlands. Most of these activities that destroy wetlands are carried out at night, sometimes causing adverse effects to the environment before it's put right. Over an acre of land has been covered with soil in this water catchment area. It is anticipated that if the ministry officials hadn't acted fast, they were aiming for five acres, as their land title suggests. Irene Namialo, NTV.